fun to lift you up. Uh, we've had the opportunity. You've been a huge part of uh, the Stollery, and then you've seen what's happened there with your work with uh, with uh, the ra radio stations there. Estrell now, but when you yep. knew them, and they were owned by, uh, by raised Mo twenty two million. Uh, since I retired, yeah. <laughs> ra I've raised twenty two million, or part of teams that raised twenty two million. I'm on the Edmonton Singing Christmas Tree Foundation, which uh, you know, yeah. has done over two hundred thousand to Santa's Anonymous. Did a Make-A-Wish Radiothon. I'm, I'm going to do social media for Youth Emergency. Uh, the new name, I always get it wrong. Um, God, what else? I'm working with CKUA, building that $15 million new building downtown, which is spectacular. We have a huge announcement coming on a project that we're working on next year that will blow everybody away. I uh, consult radio stations uh, throughout the province, and license applications, license flips. I do air checks cheaply, Chris, if you need any help. Well, you know, you could probably air check this and say, what, what is that guy talking about? Yeah, maybe I should have got some advice from you a long time ago. Other than that, you're not doing anything in retirement, really. Uh, well, I write for The Sun. I yeah. write for Edmontonians. And you know, I had a lot of gas in the tank. And I, when they sold the company, it was time for me to move on. I, did, I just didn't want to start all over again. Dad passed away at 58. That stayed with me. You, you mentioned earlier that you used to be somebody. I used to be important. important. <laughs> you still are. Yeah. To me, you, I, as a broadcaster, I mean, when you would walk in the room, people, you know, a talent as we call them in the business, people who wanted to maybe move somewhere or get a job, or, or you would walk in the room and oh, everybody would sit up a little straighter and everybody wanted to shake hands and have a conversation with Marty Forbes. And I don't think that's changed. I wanted to ask you what it's like from your chair. Do you know when people are you know what, sucking up? Or? No, it, it, it truly, that's, um, thank you. I mean, it blows me away. It just, uh, I, Dad's, Dad always wanted to be remembered as a normal guy. I'm just a normal guy. That's just the way I am. And with I, a nice car. With a nice car. <laughs> <laughs> and I, a little power. Uh, I've just been so fortunate in my life to, to to be in this business, to work with the people, to have the success that I have, and I just I like sharing it, Matt, and and, and to be viewed that way is it, it's an honor, obviously, uh, for, especially for my kids. I want them to be proud of me. Well, this wasn't supposed to be the Marty Forbes tribute, but I think one of the highest uh, compliments I could pay to you is that we've always been competitors throughout our radio careers, but I always felt like I was working with you. Yeah. Like I mean, does that make any sense? You well, know, like today the common we, good. Go ahead. Sorry, we have the media mob, and what we did was got uh, you know all the radio and TV guys together. And this city, the city, as we talked about earlier, is different. It doesn't matter who owns you or what the call letters are. There's a respect for your peers in this business. I've always had. You're you're run to the border. It ranks up at number one. I mean that that's a, a format thing. A guy that cares that that one just knocked me out. I mean that's the respect that I give back to you. And this city just has so many, so much talent and so many nice people to get together and just talk as peers is a real joy in my books. Marty Forbes, again, uh, the man of many, many different jobs. Uh, Jennifer Martin from Alberta Primetime is with us. You had something else there you wanted to get? I was remembering the first time I met you, I'd only been in the city a couple of weeks, and you were riding down Jasper Ave in a tractor. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I thought, hmm. Yeah, that's kind of odd. <laughs> well, welcome to Edmonton. <laughs> Got Mayor Bill Smith in that tractor, too, and I remember we, we drove in the, the reflecting pond or whatever it is, and he's like, oh, I think I could be in trouble for this, but he didn't, he didn't, he didn't really care. It, yeah. It is. It's a special city. It's it's yeah. big enough, but it's small enough. Yeah, when absolutely. when you need it to be small enough and to be like you said, a community with soul and a heart. I mean, that's we we are all so lucky to be here. I mean, uh, Marty now spends a little bit of time in a place. So what do you say, solar research? Or I do, do solar call? power research. Solar power yeah. research in, in, in Arizona. <laughs> what, what's that like for uh, for Jennifer and I that maybe dream of doing that possibly at some point <laughs> in our lives? What, what's it like being away in the winter? You know what? It's it, it's another spectacular city. It, it's an amazing city, and again, it's it, it's a recreation city. It, it is filled with fun things to do. And I, I've got a motorcycle I keep down there. I ride all through the southern states. There's 272 golf courses. There's every major sport. The NFL stadium is phenomenal with, you know, the grass that slides out. And yeah. It's watered and guarded all week and then slid into a game and back out. The Jobing Arena, the Coyotes, hopefully they can pull that off. I mean, I, pay, I paid $99 for a parking pass and club seats in the private club for the Coyotes for a playoff game. <laughs> okay. And the concession food there is pretty decent, it's all, too. It's all spectacular, yeah. yeah. I mean, just, they so, do things differently. Yeah, and, and it's just that the frame of mind in a city like that is all recreation-based. Yeah. There's beautiful lakes around it and that. So I've got it down to four hours door-to-door. And I do my work down there, my intellectual stuff down there, and scoot it back here and do my face-to-face -face up here. So, What's intellectual stuff? It's it's all the stuff that's stuck in the back of my skull that I put on <laughs> PowerPoints or, or my air checks, whatever, and I scoot it out, and then I then I fly back here. I'm, I'm down there about every six weeks. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, yeah, no, and, and, and well deserved too. It's just kind of a kind of a neat thing that uh, that, that you're able to do. All right, well, we talked about uh, prime time, Alberta prime time that you're on every every night. Uh, talk about that again for people that are just tuning in. I mean, uh, well, it's a current affairs show, CDV through uh, CDV two. We're just trying to take Alberta issues and dig a little deeper for people, get the people that are maybe making the decisions, uh, influencing some of our social policies and whatnot, to come on and explain why they're doing what they're doing. Yeah, well, you, know, you do a great job of that as well. Marty, yeah, thank Absolutely. you for continuing to give back. He's uh, following in his dad's footsteps. Those are pretty big footsteps. So, uh, you know, but you're doing a heck of a job when it comes to that. It's funny, you go, well, you know, I got to, my dad started 630 Chet Sounds Anonymous, so I got to try to give back. My kids are like, well, my dad lived in a tractor, so I don't know what I have to do when it comes to that. Go, it's not, yeah. not nearly as big a footstep. It's a tractor, it's a tractor track, I guess. Uh, Jennifer, you're doing great. It's nice to see you as well, and uh, thank you for joining me, both of you. It's been a good one. Thank I think. you, Chris. I think. If you were air checking this, what would you give it? A I'm, I'm going to go back home on Sunday and get my notes. Okay. <laughs> Just don't give them to my boss. No, I won't. That's all I ask.